welcome to my channel in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to log in with SSH on your Raspberry Pi without monitor if you haven't set up a static IP address for your Raspberry Pi then chances are it's going to change and you won't be able to log in, SSH login without the correct IP address so the first thing we have to do is open up a terminal and we're going to install a package called nmap this uh, package uh, will scan our network and for all scan our network for all connected devices and return their IP addresses okay so if you're on Ubuntu or De any Debian based distro you can search for the package name with apt cache search mmap and it will give you the package name to install then and then you can install it with sudo apt get install nmap or the package name since I'm uh, using uh, Arch Linux I'm gonna be using this command for the installation sudo pacman dash capital S and I already know the package name is nmap so enter and then say yes and then enter okay so after it's done installing the command to scan the network is simply nmap then type the router address which is 192.168.1.1 one or depending on your router it can be zero or one so you have to check it first with IP root so here it says that the default address for my router is 192.168.1.1 so if it's it's a zero after the 168 number for you then you should replace it with zero there okay so nmap 192 then 168.1.1 and then dash and then the range of uh, the addresses that we want to target okay the maximum is 255 so we're going to scan all that and then just hit enter but uh, and it will return the IP addresses of all of the connected devices on the network okay so let's see how it does Okay, so it's taking a little bit of time. After this, we're going to um, give some options so we don't get all these informations right here. As we can see, that it gives you. Uh, all the IP addresses uh, including the inactive ones okay so we we just want the uh, open connections and the command that I use here is um, mmap dash s and then capital P and then the target addresses again which is one nine which are one nine two one six eight one point one dash two five five okay and then enter okay so 
again it's taking a little bit of time to scan so here's the uh, output of the command and you can see that it gave us uh, different IP addresses and uh, we're not really sure which one is uh, the IP address of our Raspberry Pi I'm not sure what the dash SP option really is for but it's what I've been using and I know that it's supposed to return the manufacturer's name and also the MAC address which is uh, the uh, which is kind of the which is kind of a fingerprint for you to be able to identify your device but the command requires some root privileges so we run it with sudo if you would also like to find your Raspberry Pi's IP address on Windows there's a software tool called Advanced IP Scanner which works just the same as Nmap. The only difference is that it has a GUI or graphical user interface. So you can go ahead and search for that. Alright, so now we are able to see which one is the IP address for our Raspberry Pi and it's the one above it above the manufacturer's name in my case it's 192.168.1.8 okay okay so let's SSH log into our Raspberry Pi with SSH and then the username pi at 192.168.1.8 and then dash x if you want x11 forwarding okay it's going to ask you if you trust this connection just say yes and then give our password and you will now be able to log in to your Pi so let's try ls and open scratch so that's it uh, SSH login to your Raspberry Pi without a monitor